Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be, I don't have it out because this is the end of the video actually. We're going to be using that new Ninja Foodie power pitcher system to make these. Yes. We made the dough in the Ninja Foodie blender and then we used the oven to bake these rolls. So like I said, we're just following along right in the book. So we have our base. We're going to take the blender just like that and we're going to take that dough hook and place it right in there. We're going to follow the directions. I'm just trying to read off the directions for you. We have uh, one tablespoon of active dry yeast, two tablespoons of white sugar, one cup of warm water, and a quarter cup of whole milk. Warm. I'm just going to take a whisk. I'm just going to whisk this all together. So now we're going to take that mixture and just pour it into the pitcher here. I'm just going to swirl it around so we get all the ingredients in there and we're going to wait five minutes. And what we're waiting for is a little bit of bubble action. It's been more than five minutes, but we got some bubbling action here. Let me take this off and show you guys. See how it's bubbling? Add the salt, which is one and one half teaspoons of kosher salt. One egg. So this is going to be a nice soft dinner roll. Two tablespoons of butter. Three and a, ugh, I can't talk. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to drop that right in. Whoa. Okay, yeah. We're going to put the lid on. Now that I got stuff everywhere. All right, so we're going to turn it on. We're going to select dough and press start. Let's see how loud this is. Not too bad. Oh yeah, see the dough, it's forming. Awesome. I got flour everywhere. So we got 27 seconds. Now it's working. Let's give that motor a workout. Okay, and it's done. Now it says, let's see. Transfer dough to a floured work surface. Release the top, take it off. All right. Oh, my hands are slipping. All right, this dough is sticky. Grab some flour. And this is King Arthur flour that I'm using, but you can use whatever flour that you want. This dough feels a bit sticky, so I'm adding just a bit of extra flour. Oh yeah, that was, this dough is real sticky. All right, see if we can get this out of here. Yeah, this is like super sticky. Take it off the hook here. Dios mio. All right, let's put that in there. We're just gonna knead this just a few times and shape it into a bowl. It, dough feels nice though, very nice, even though it is super sticky. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice dough. A little bit sticky, but yeah. Let me go wash my hands. Look at that. So now it says to cut the dough ball into eight pieces, shape each piece into a bowl, place evenly spaced apart on a prepared baking sheet. I'm actually going to use the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Air oven because I love it. We're not going to use it. Plus, it's hot today up here. It's like 70 degrees and I'm dying. So I'm going to use the pan from the Ninja XL Pro Air oven. I put a piece of parchment paper right there. Now we're going to cut this into eight pieces. Now you can use a knife or if you have like a bench knife. Uh, I'm trying to think. Walmart maybe has these for, I don't think a couple bucks. Maybe, but probably like a couple bucks at Walmart. Yeah, this is like, yeah, this dough is very sticky. So we're going to try to even these pieces up and cut it into eight, eight pieces. Or you know what you could do too? You could actually use a scale, but I think today we're just going to eyeball it. So we're going to do one. I don't think these are going to be really even at all. And they're not going to be. Mm-hmm. 
But that's the first time we're actually using this and doing this, so it doesn't really matter. We're just having, we're having fun with it. So now we're going to shape these guys. So what I like to do, and I'm not a professional baker at all, but this is really, yeah, it's very sticky dough. What I like to do, you're going to just, I would just take, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but... You're just going to take your palm and you're just going to try to push it a bit and it catches on the counter like that. So you're basically making like a little, a little dough round. And then take your hand and you just move it around just like that. And look at that. Shapes it into the perfect size and shape hard roll. Just going to put it on a piece of parchment paper. You're going to take another one and do the same thing. I'm just going to do this one handed so you can see. Just pushing it with this part of my hand over and then put it inside your hand and you're just going to rub it around on the counter and it creates like a little ball. It's fantastic. And now what I'm going to go and find is a piece of it's basically a white cloth and they call them flower sacks. And I'm going to moisten that just a little bit and we're going to cover this up. So just like this. This is quite large. There's a little bit of water on it. I'm just going to cover it just like this. Okay, I'm going to clean up my mess. And by the time I clean up the mess, put the oven on the counter, we should be good to go. Let these rise for about 15 minutes, the book says. So before I take the cover off them and uh, egg brush them, I'm going to turn this on. We're going to turn it to bake. And it says to use level 3. Uh, temp. 400 degrees. And I'm going to hit start. Now the time I'm going to adjust, bring it down to 15 minutes. To be honest with you, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually let this preheat for a couple minutes. I want that good and hot in there so we get some oven spraying in these rolls. Up next, we're going to take one egg and you can use like a little bit of milk or you can use water and we're going to whisk that together. It's been heating for the 90 seconds and it already started counting down, down to like 13 minutes. So by the time I egg wash these lovely rolls, and unfortunately, I don't have any sesame seeds. I thought I had some in the house, but I can't either can't find them or I don't have any more. I'm just gonna brush the tops just like this. They're set, let's put them in the oven. So let's, we're gonna open this quick, get the rolls in here, oops, close it. Then we're gonna take the time back up to 15 minutes. So we're gonna, let me turn the light on so you guys can see. Look at those beauties. So we have about 10 seconds left. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stop it right now before it shuts all the way off. I am going to do a quick temp right in the middle of this. 183. I would say they're not done. So what we're going to do is we're going to tack on a few more minutes. Let me increase the time. Let me just tack on three extra minutes. Because when it comes to doughs and stuff, you want them to be like 205. Like breads, when you're making homemade bread and stuff, because if you if it doesn't cook up like 200 and stuff, the inside is going to be gummy. And I see, I'm not sure if you can see, that one's split. That one's split just a bit. Um, but this is good. I can actually see they peaked. Some of them peaked as well. So I'm thinking maybe next time, just to play around with this recipe, I might put them down on the two rack. The two level instead of the three level. We do have about 30 seconds left. I am just going to let it run. I'm going to re-poke this roll. All right, 200. Oops, it's like 201. I'm gonna let the, I'm just gonna let the time run down and then we'll take them out. Okay, so this is done. Let's take them out. Yeah, they came out pretty good. Not like the photo, but we'll improve that. That's what they're looking like right there. But we're gonna let them cool for just a little bit and then we're gonna do that taste test. Time for that taste test. Do you guys see this? Look at this. I know. Whoops. Tons of butter. Um, yeah. The inside's a little doughy, so I definitely next time I will add more flour. I'll look at the dough before I take it out of the blender. I will add more flour so we come up with a drier dough. That's what I'm thinking. But let's give this a taste. Take some of that butter off there.
Mmm, pretty good. This is pretty good. It could have cooked longer because the dough, the inside's a little doughy, just a bit. Um, but yeah, there's the outside of it. So it came out pretty good. But like with all the Ninja appliances, it's, uh, there's always a learning curve. And now I know what to do for next time. And to be honest with you, that blender in this oven, it's like peas and carrots, people. Name that movie. No, really, it's like they belong together. It's like the recipes in that book for the blender are perfect to go into this oven to finish it off. It's fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Take care.